I'm back out here again. It's been about a week. I'm about to tackle the underbelly a little bit more. I have decided that I am going to take down, unscrew as much of the underbelly. I'm going to take down probably halfway because it's just one long sheet. I was toying, toying around with the idea of cutting a hole out and then just having it flap down and having an, having that hole so I can sit up and work on the leak. And I also messed around with the idea of just replacing the entire sheet because of the sag that's that the water created the sagging piece right here. So I am actually going to take down as much as I can of the underbelly and I'm going to take down enough so when I sit on it, I'm going to be able to sit on it and look at the leak, but I'm going to take down enough so that I can sit on it that it doesn't pull or affect the rest of it. So that's where I'm at right now. It's a wonderfully warm day and I'm just going to get started on this. I have a container to keep my screws in so I don't lose them, but I'm also thinking about getting some brand new ones when the time comes to put to put this back up. You know, these are really stuck in there. Like I'm trying with this wrench, it's really freaking hard. And I'm messing my hair up. I'll show y'all this gas line. There's a screw right here. It's really hard to get to because it's covered up by this plastic. And this plastic piece that's holding up the gas line is in the way so it's very difficult to get this piece and I can't fit the wrench here because there's just not enough room so I'm kind of struggling with this one I am back out again. It has been about a week, maybe two weeks, since I last did something here. Uh, the screws on the bottom that were holding up the underbelly were incredibly hard for me to, to unscrew, so I had to call for a little bit of backup. So I got some help there, but my next thing to do is going to be to remove the, the spray insulation that was put up under here. I'm gonna show you guys what that is, what that looks like. All right, so most of it is hanging down right now. I went ahead and only, I went back to about halfway, unscrewed it, and this should be enough to help me access the leak back there on the tank. Now let me get in here and show you guys. I think you can see it fine, but that blob of what appears to be dirt, one right there, one right there, that is spray foam insulation to kind of help keep critters out it is right next to the valve that you pull out to drain the tanks. So I need to get all that down and then I should be able to pull this down and have better access to the tanks leak. I'm gonna try to use a scraper and I have a, my box cutter here. I don't know what's gonna take it off. I had in YouTube any ideas, but I'm gonna give this a try first and then see what happens. I'm gonna try to hold the camera and show you guys that my scraper it's taking it off really easy i'm just sliding it in between the underbelly plastic and just pulling it up it seems to be coming off really easy see Ooh. Ooh, there it goes okay there it is it's super lightweight it's like styrofoam but like lighter i don't know
I don't know if my head's in the way, if y'all can see me doing this. All right, this is pretty much removed from the first valve, right below the gray tank, one of them. Okay guys, I've got better access to the, the tank and where the leak might be. Let me show you guys. This plastic is gross. Okay. Here's the, one of the gray tanks. Here's the culprit. Right around here is where it's leaking. So I think I'm gonna go fill up the shower and come and watch, see exactly where it's coming out. I mean, the seal looks okay. Just judging by, by everything, but I really need to get some water going so I can see exactly where this is coming out of. And there's a date right here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it says April the 1st, April the 10th, 2007. This trailer is a 2007. So I think, obviously these are original tanks. So here's an up close view of where that foam was. I knocked it out. Still don't know how I'm going to get it off. I'm going to get the plastic sheet off, but I don't even know if I need to now because I have perfect access right here to the leak. And here's the other blob of styrofoam that I thought was mud. Oh, and there's the black tank. And there's another tank beyond that. It's another gray tank, but it's way up front. I think it houses my sink water. And yeah, there's the side I started on. I'd like to show you guys that the plastic sheet is rolled back a little bit to the back and I had um, a little bit more help today just to do this and what we did was okay here's the sheet we literally just tucked it under and rolled it back As you can see here, see how it's rolled, it's rolled back, that's all it is. So that piece, that down there, that's the very front part that comes in front. Get a better view here. See how it's just tucked underneath right there? Pushed it out of the way to have access to the lake. I also want to show you guys one more thing that had to be done in order to be able to roll this piece of plastic um, back under. This is the valve here, this piece right here. This thing coming out is the lever that you pull to drain your tanks. So the piece of plastic was, you know, there's a hole in the piece of plastic for this to go through. So there was no way to just pull the plastic down. This had to be disassembled. Well, little did I know, you can disassemble this all you have to do is just turn you just turn this guy you just keep turning and turning and this will unscrew off literally right here it'll just unscrew right off i'm not going to take it all the way off but if i get close enough you can kind of see where it's this it screws around here but it, it only comes out to maybe about, about right here and then when you're ready you just put it back on and then you just re-screw it up to tighten it so by doing that by taking this off we were able to easily push this plastic back and have full access to the tank and the leak spot. Okay, found the leak. Look at it. Okay. okay, it is coming from the tank. Oh yeah, there is a 
crack in the tank. There it goes. Yeah, it's coming right out of the tank. It's not the valve, it's not the pipe. Trying to give y'all a close up of the leak. It's kind of hard to hold this in the camera, but there's a crack right here, and then there's a little crack right here, and I believe there's another crack right here. It was spurring out, you know, th three spots water was coming out. So that is definitely a leak from the gray tank, not the valve like I was hoping for. So that is pretty much it for now, guys. The, the, the hard thing for me was to get this plastic off, so that's done now. And I was thankful for the help to have that. So my next thing is going to be to do some research and try to figure out exactly how I'm going to, how I'm going to plug the leak up. I have a few ideas in mind, but I need to do research first and I need to really think this out thoroughly so I can do it correctly. I don't I don't want to do it and then come back out and then, you know, a week later it didn't work. So that's the next step. That'll be the next video. Um, hopefully I'll, I don't know how long it's going to take, maybe another two weeks, maybe three weeks. We'll see how long I how long I take but I appreciate you guys watching this this journey this this project that I've been trying to do it's been challenging to say the least I appreciate you guys watching along I'll see y'all in the next one bye